facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Along with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce joins us from the sidelines. White for three. It's rebounded by Wade. Grant, how about Kobe White? Going from a bench player to one of the league leaders in minutes. Yeah, Kobe played more than 35 minutes per game last season. Top 10 in the league. We saw White hit another level. So he has an exciting future in front of him. And Mobley gets it to go. Okay, Evan Mobley a big, folks. But you can see the touch on that mid-range jumper. That's pure. Here's Levine. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. They'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Man, good whistle there. Chicago shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Grant, the Cavs making the playoffs the last two years. A big deal in Cleveland. Well, outside of years with LeBron on the roster, they hadn't made the postseason since 1998. But this group of Cavaliers are making their own history now. Oh, we've got quite the matchup in store tonight, Doris. Two conference rivals set to clash once again. NBA, there's typically a little bit of chippiness because it is clear these two teams don't like each other, and you and I are here for all of it. Now here's Garland. Right side, Mitchell. Five to shoot. 18 feet out. And he can't bank that one in. And it's the Bulls' ball. Outside Levine. The rebound by Donovan Mitchell. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Puts one up from 19. Cleveland again missing. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Here's White. Let's it fly. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. The officials were right on top of that one. Chicago shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Well, the last time the Bulls won a playoff series was back in 2015, Grant. That was back when Butler and Rose were their leading scorers. And it just shows you just how long it's been. But they've been stuck in mediocrity ever since. And right now, they are desperate for a breakthrough season. Now here's Mobley. To the middle. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Mobley's got his second basket of the game. Oh, to be blessed with athleticism and touch. Mobley has all the tools to be elite. And the foul called on Evan Mobley. That'll be a second foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Number 20. Now here's Levine. Williams from long range. And it's Niang with the rebound. From deep, Mitchell gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. From three-point range, Donovan Mitchell attacks with reckless abandon. He'll just keep firing, folks. Here's White. Three-pointer, Vucevic. Cavaliers with the rebound. Garland with the ball. Now guarded by White. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. I was able to talk with Kenny Atkinson for a minute. He's been working with his assistant coaches, trying to devise a way to contain Zach Levine. His ability to play well above the rim, coupled with the deep range, makes him a unique challenge to defend. They're going to try to keep him off balance by showing him different looks. Brian? Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Doris, so much improvement from Garland since coming into the league. Oh, no doubt, Brian. This guy is now a do-it-all guard. You can play him at both the one and the two positions. The versatility that he possesses is such an important aspect in the league today. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Garland scanning the floor. Pass to Thompson. Outside Garland. Here's Mitchell. And the 18-footer right on the mark. 
Mitchell. Mitchell's got six points. Yeah, there are levels. Oh! Oh! Body control, flair for the dramatic, Levine in style. The Cavaliers leading. Mitchell into the lane. And Mitchell with the slam. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. The Bulls trail by four. Up top, Levine. Left side, White. Oh, swiped away. Pass to Okoro. Back to Garland. Hits the front of the rim and out. And the defense gets bailed out by the miss. He usually converts that. Giddy. Drops in the short one. That's outstanding footwork by Josh Giddy. Finishing the painted area. I can do that too. Okoro with a the ball. There's the triple. Smith with the rebound. 20 seconds left in the first. Here's Levine. Oh, that was something! Oh, oh, man. Just beautiful. That elite athleticism of Zach Levine. This guy loves to finish up high. Sinks it from distance. Outside Levine. Just a big-time effort for Donovan Mitchell, providing a lot of energy for the Cavaliers. Eight points in the court. The Bulls, 13. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. All right, what do you guys think about Cleveland here in this one? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. I think across the board, a number of guys have done a great job guarding multiple positions. And Kenny Atkinson has called a timeout. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. Now Levert and Doris, who can forget the 2016 Cavs, the team that brought Cleveland their first NBA title. And not just basketball, the city hadn't won a championship BA in any sport for over 50 years. And for LeBron, a homegrown talent to do that with Kyrie, that is a team that will always have a special place in Northeast Ohio lore. Get taller than you think. Lonzo is a sneaky 6'6". Mobley, no good. Chicago trailing here. All right, let's get a report from Allie. The Cavaliers have great size up front. They have Evan Mobley and Jared Allen, who said, we have each other's backs. That's the advantage of having two seven-footers. If you blow by the first one, there's a second one waiting for you. Brian, they'll make it tough. No doubt. Waves and waves of length inside. Thanks, Allie. You love how hard a coral works for his team makes himself right there a good option in the catch and shoot game here's ball here's white yes sir and it's ball with the assist that time yeah there's no quitting this guy he just gives you great effort and he continues to give you great production Porter with it now guarded by white the three from Okoro that's his third basket and five shots solid work this is something they could really use from Okoro, guys. Has to hit enough threes to help stretch that defense. Shot by Levine, no good. Cleveland leading by five. Okoro on the wing. Up and over Smith. Okoro, no good. Out to Mobley. Back to Allen. Pass to Porter. Mobley with it. Clock is at three. Another shot. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's on Jalen Smith. 
Evan Mobley is truly a coach's dream. You get the substance and the style. You get the effort and the skill. And this all from a skinny seven-footer. Boy, his frame's gonna fill out and the game becomes more dangerous. Oh, you look at Evan Mobley, Doris. So agile for his size. This is a young man, Brian, with so much upside. Defensively, he can guard on the perimeter, slides his feet, keeps his balance, contests without fouling, and he's growing every repetition on the offensive end. I can't wait to see his future. Outside, Williams. Here's Ball. Uses the glass on the layup. And now just a two-point Cleveland lead. And I like the mix of power and agility Ball uses inside. One way or another, he's going to get a shot. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Woo, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Here's Wade. No points yet. Two minutes. Pass to Mobley. Let's the three fly. Gets the three to fall. And now it's a seven-point Cleveland lead. Well, you see the confidence from Evan Mobley right now, ready to shoot as soon as he touches the basketball. Grant, there's a huge difference between talent on paper versus winning. You're right, B.A., and it comes down to coaching, chemistry, and sacrifice. But I think the biggest thing is effort. All things being equal, the team that plays the hardest is going to win. He's off on the first. And the second free throw is good. Three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Garland for three. That one falls. Nice set up by Mitchell. And the Cavaliers lead by nine. Well, a lot of distance on that jumper by Darius Garland. Nice. Mitchell with the ball. Guarded by Smith. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Thompson's athleticism allows him to finish with power. The three from Craig. Thompson pulls it in. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And the shot is good by Garland. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Ooh, Thompson with the block. That's where Thompson's length comes into play. You think you can sneak a shot over him, but he'll swat it right back at you. Now here's Smith. Still without a bucket. Down to five on the shot clock. There's Ball with a three. And it's Niang with a rebound. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Outside Porter. Niang a screen. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. 13 feet out. And again, it's Cleveland converting. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Here's Phillips. And again, no good by Chicago. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. Up 15 points as this quarter concludes. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. We'll be right back with you shortly. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Boy, if you let Donovan Mitchell get comfortable shooting the basketball, you're in for a tough night. That's an easy catch and shoot. Doors back in January. 